Hello everyone! Today we will conduct a very interesting chemical experiment which is called a biking dog. I'll start with a big warning. This experiment has been done by professionals and its repetition without the knowledge of safety and any other necessary knowledge can lead to various unpleasant consequences which we all would like to avoid. This experiment is all about interaction of carbon disulfate with nitrous oxide or nitrogen monoxide. To begin, let's see how this reaction happens with nitrogen monoxide. Nitrogen monoxide will be prepared by copper reaction with concentrated nitric acid. After this process, the nitrogen dioxide is released, which we pass through the water while it's reduced to nitrogen monoxide. We will fill such cylinders with nitric oxide, since they are usually being used to carry out the reaction. However, the reaction back in dog goes even better if you use nitrous oxide. An interesting fact that nitrous oxide is contained in bottles with whipped cream, which are sold in almost all stores. Nitrous oxide is etched off pretty easily, and about 1.5 liters of nitrous oxide can be squeezed from one cylinder. After I filled all the cylinders with different gases, it's time to add the second component, carbon disulfate. Carbon disulfate is stored in these special banks, since it is very toxic, and work with it can only be done after acquiring the necessary special training. The ratio of carbon disulfate and nitrous oxide should be approximately 2 ml of carbon disulfate per 1 liter of gas. After adding a small amount of carbon disulfate in the cylinder, it should be mixed for the carbon disulfate to be evaporated and mix it with nitric oxide. Well now, let's do the experiment. To start the reaction, I'm opening the cylinder and igniting the mixture of our gases. The reaction is very beautiful, during which a bright flash occurs and so-called dog barking. Therefore, this experiment is called a barking dog. By the way, I have an interesting fact for you. Before the invention of camera flashes, this reaction often has been used as the illuminator for photography. The reaction speed can vary based on how much carbon disulfate has been added. If carbon disulfate was added less than needed, the reaction will be slow, but it will produce more light. The equation of this reaction is Carbon disulfate reacts with nitric oxide, which releases carbon dioxide, nitrogen and sulfur, which is then deposited on the walls of the cylinder and which is very inconvenient to wash off. This experiment is quite complicated, but it has a simple analog. To make this experiment, take a bottle and fill it with ethanol vapor. After that, ignite the top of the bottle and observe a nice effect. <laughs> 